Today we are going to try a dual tone effect on a portrait with the free Snapseed app. First thing I am going to crop bottom part of the image using the crop tool. Next, I'm going to apply black and white filter with the default options. I had planned before to make the right part of the background to have similar color to the brighter part of the face which gives a nice contrast to the final image. So I have to make that part completely white. To do that, using curves, I will drag the bottom point to the top which makes the image completely white. Now with masking, Tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, latest curves and brush. Here with the effect disabled and brush value at 100, I'm going to zoom to the maximum which makes the brush smaller and also gives it a hard edge feather which is needed to get the selection have a fine edge. Now brushing carefully on the edge of the portrait to make it completely white. This will take a bit of time, we'll fast forward this part. Also coming here just around the top where I'm going to stop there so that there is a contrast between the left and right parts of the background. After this brushing the remaining part is a lot easier. So roughly zooming out and brushing to finish the masking work. So here we have completed the most time consuming part of the process. Next again using curves, I am going to give the image a lot of contrast by making the brighter parts completely white and darker parts completely black. Trying here to make sure the left part of the face is more brighter which gives a nice contrast with the background. I'm going to save this copy which will be later required. Next I'm going to invert the image using curves. Dragging the bottom point to the top which makes the darker parts completely white. Top point down to make the brighter parts completely black. Again using curves I'm going to drag the bottom point of the red curve towards top to make the blacks completely red. Like this. Next using double exposure I am going to add the previously saved black and white copy and choose subtract mode which works best here. So here we have a nice red tone to the portrait. Next we are going to try giving it a dual tone effect. Now using curves I am going to try turning the blacks to blue color. So dragging the bottom point of the blue to the top. Here we have got a nice dual tone effect. We can also notice that red has changed to purplish color due to the blue color added on top of the red. If you want to make any changes to these colors using selective filters, we can change the brightness or saturation accordingly. Finally, I'm gonna add a bit of grain for an artistic touch. Here's the final look we got. Thanks for watching.